another wonderful story with one of our favorite main characters, Charlotte the Scientist. This one is titled Charlotte the Scientist is Squished. It's written by Camille Andros, illustrated by Brianne Farley. The Scientific Method. Question. Hypothesis. Experiment. Observation. Conclusion. Protective glasses. Clipboard. Magnifying glass. Lab coat. Charlotte was a serious scientist. Protective glasses, a lab coat, and a magnifying glass were her essential scientific equipment. Plus a clipboard for important notes. Charlotte solved problems by conducting experiments that followed the scientific method. And Charlotte had a problem. She was squished. She was squished at the table. She was squished in the tub. And sometimes she was even squished on the toilet. Hey! It had become impossible to conduct her experiments. Her test tubes were taken, her beakers got broken, and her specimens were spoiled. Charlotte needed some space, time to use the scientific method. Step one, ask a question. How can I get some space around here? Step two. Form a hypothesis. Hypothesis. If I can get rid of my brothers and sisters, I will have room to be a real scientist. Step three. Test the hypothesis. Experiment. She tried an experiment to make everyone disappear, but it didn't work. She tried another experiment to make herself disappear, but that didn't work either. Bang, clang, boom, keep out. If she was going to get some space, she would have to go there. <sighs> Step four, make and record observations. Charlotte was no longer squished at the table. She was no longer squished in the tub. And Charlotte could take as long as she wanted on the toilet. Observations. Meals. Check. Baths. Check. Toilet. Check. Important experiments. Hmm. Space was splendid. Finally! Step five. Draw conclusions. She had all the room she needed to conduct very important experiments using her protective glasses, lab coat, and magnifying glass. Her test tubes were tidy, her beakers looked brilliant, and her specimens were sparkling. Her hypothesis was correct. She finally had room to be a scientist. The only problem was there was no one to talk to at mealtime. No one to blow bubbles with in the tub. And what was Charlotte supposed to do when she ran out of toilet paper? Hello? Space was lonely. Back to step two, form a new hypothesis. If I can have friends in space, then I won't be lonely, and I can be a real scientist. Time for more experiments. Charlotte tried chocolate, Ugh, but it was too tempting. The balloons kept floating away. And robot bunnies were poor conversationalists. They got ruined in the bathtub and tangled in the toilet paper. Boop! Charlotte missed her family. She even missed being squished. So she tried one last experiment. Ask a question. 
and she reached a new conclusion. Charlotte didn't need outer space. Mm -mm. She just needed her own space. Oh, what a wonderful solution. Take a moment, you can pause the video here to read through and remind yourself these five steps of the scientific method, especially for all my science, technology, engineering, arts, and math students. Charlotte the Scientist is Squished, another wonderful story with Charlotte the Bunny. Mm -hmm. Until next time, Adios amigos.